different symptoms linked to different kinds of CCI. Yes, you can get some good clues that way. Now, the top three specific symptoms that usually match different kinds of CCI, symptoms when I look up, symptoms when I look down, and general dizziness. Now, symptoms when I look up. A lot of these patients, which are usually CCI type 1C, get this indication that maybe their skull is sliding. This is associated with what we call a high translational BAI measurement on upright flexion extension MRI. And this kind of treatment usually needs a PICL on those ligaments that hold the skull to the neck. Now, symptoms you look down, that's usually a CCI type 1A or 2A. And those are, again, types that need to be treated with a PICL procedure. And then finally, dizziness. Dizziness, vertigo, imbalance is a symptom that's usually related to problems at C2-3. Many times you can treat this with just posterior injections into the facet joint and into the ligaments if it's a type 3A. Uh, if it's a type 3B, where things are going backwards with head extension, then you do need that anterior PICL approach. So in summary, certain types of symptoms can be linked to specific types of CCI. And the more you can tell your doctor about what provokes your symptoms, the more likely it is we're going to be able to get you with a specific treatment. So again,